It's been such a fantastic day and I cannot wait to show you. Today I went to the Estancia de Don Silvano outside of Buenos Aires in the Argentine Pampa. I've met with gauchos, I was served traditional food and watched a fabulous show. It was a day filled with emotions, with dancing and wonderful people. Honestly, I had the time of my life and would recommend this adventure to anyone visiting Buenos Aires. Today I am going to Don Silvano, a family-owned farm for four generations that has slowly transitioned from serving food to travelers to serving food to foreigners. Horses, take a carriage ride, or watch an amazing gaucho show. Bueno, this is the Estancia Don Silvano. My name is Santiago, and here we receive a lot of people that they came just all around the world. And the idea is that all the people that came here from Argentina know all the tradition of Argentina. We explain all about the folklore and all the deep instruments that we have all around the province. We make an imaginary trip all around the province. When we finish the lunch, we go another show with horses that we call the Estresas Criollas. There we explain how the gaucho teach all the horses because the horse was very important for the archetype people. We just play one play that is very nice, that is the play of the sortija. And the gaucho who take the sortija, he just give to a lady. The lady have to give a kiss to the gaucho. And if the lady has a husband or boyfriend, the husband or boyfriend have to give a kiss to the horse. That is tradition. Yeah. Yeah. The idea is to pass an idea all together. That's what we do here in Estancia Don Silvano. But no, 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 that's not all. Besides the warm welcome, the wonderful food and the shows, there was also lots of singing and dancing. The gauchos of the Estancia made us feel so happy. They showed us different traditional dances. They sang a song from each country present in the room. They even knew a Korean song. Can you imagine? Then out of nowhere, this happened. No way you know a song no, no, from Bulgaria. When Christians don't know a song of your country, for example, now, they say that they invite you to sing a song. <laughs> okay, so a girl from Argentina was celebrating her birthday, so I took the easy route. I was feeling pretty brave for getting up on stage, but then a Chinese girl totally outshone me. <laughs> she knew what was coming up for her and she was so much better prepared. This was such an awesome day! I had so much fun, I cannot even describe it.
So my favorite gaucho did not know about Aaron's song, but he did sing a song that was so beautiful, it brought tears to my eyes. I have never felt this way before. I was overwhelmed with feelings of joy and sadness. Here I am in a country I know nothing about, listening to music that is so different from my own culture. I was surprised how much this Argentinian song touched me. And this is where I realized, oh my god, I am falling in love with this country. I wish I could play the song so I can hear the same emotions, but I was too busy crying and never pressed the record button. So now, you'll have to go to the Estancia de Don Silvano to hear this for yourself. <laughs> 